High in the sacred valley of Peru stands Alantitambo, an ancient fortress so precisely engineered that modern builders still struggle to explain it. Its massive stones fit together flawlessly no mortar, no gaps, no mistakes. But one mystery rises above the rest, the strange magnetic effect found in certain walls. Visitors report compasses spinning. Metal objects tug softly toward the stones, and energy-sensitive travelers describe a vibration in the air, as if the walls themselves are alive. How is that possible? The first clue lies in the stone itself. All the temple's walls contain unusual amounts of iron-rich basalt, transported from quarries miles away and thousands of feet higher. Moving such stones would be hard enough, but shaping them with laser-like accuracy, that's something else. Some researchers suggest that builders understood piezoelectric properties, the ability of crystals to generate electricity under pressure. Quartz, abundant in the region, responds exactly this way. Combine quartz, iron, and precision stone compression, and suddenly, magnetic anomalies don't seem impossible. But here's what truly baffles experts. The stones at Alade Tambo were carved, shaped, and placed with zero chisel marks, not even microscopic ones. As if the rock had been softened or vibrated apart, ancient Andean legends speak of a tool called the Kase Rumi, the living stone, a device said to make rocks weightless, pliable, or even able to move on their own. Myth, maybe, but the magnetic walls seem to hint at something deeper something technological. Some believe the Inca inherited Olandi Tambo rather than build it. Others claim it was constructed using resonance, magnetism, or a lost form of geoenergy engineering. Whatever the truth, the magnetic readings don't lie. Something unusual is happening in those stones. Something ancient builders knew how to harness. So how did they do it? We still don't know, but the walls are waiting.